All right, everyone, welcome. This is Judgment Apocalypse. Uh, they are supposed to be releasing the Alpha point one, uh, point eleven, but I cannot wait. I want to be able to compare the game as is, how it is now, as to when the update comes out. Uh, all right, let's see. New game. Uh, whoa, whoa, uh, new game. Uh, fuck it. Let's do challenging. Every person gets their own unique stat, which you can then randomize. Uh, we need, I want a farmer. Let's get someone who was a farmer, gardener. All right, I can do with this. Now the whole point of the game is to build a little settlement in this given area, survive and be able to protect the people who live in it and explore the map oh, no, this, outside of the area so what happens is that you're given you're starting off in this little crap of an area you're given nothing you start off with nothing you have basic amenities food water uh, and other stuff and then from there you can build different things different uh, structures cabins train areas beds foods uh, and stuff like that everyone does have a status window where it keeps track of their health, their nutrition, and their energy. When energy drop, when nutrition drops too low, they have to eat something, and when the energy drops too low, they have to sleep. Now you can't just put a bed at wherever you want. You need to build a cabin. But first, let's get some wood. Chop wood, chop those, yes. And then we will build I just generally go for the, oh, rotation is the comma key, oddly enough. I generally go for the bigger cabin to start off with. And let's put that right there. And so what happens is that when, it, when there's a set of tasks going on, uh, your survivors will go through the tasks that they've been uh, given and they'll go through it. And then as things go on, they'll complete different things so on and so forth till they get cleared or they go on to the next task but I do not want to wait so let's get him to build that first thing I want to build is a bed put that bed in there since he had no given task uh, he was gonna go straight to where the wood chopping was where we create the the task to chop the woods but when that came up to create the bed, it automatic he automatically went to do that, because he is the engineer. Uh, for the time being, I'm oops, I'm not gonna give anyone priorities or what to do first. I just wanna get everything up and running. Uh, let us build another cabin. Oh, 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 oh stop that! No, no, stop, stop, stop. Uh, actually, cl fuck! I clicked that one again. Oh, that was one hell of a start to fuck up on. Let's try that again. Just like that. He's gonna go do that. Uh, no one's had anything to eat, so our food is so fine, our water is fine. Haven't made anything, so all our basic inventories are still the same. Let us get... I'm just gonna put the food table in there. Who's going to bed? George is tired. He's low on energy, so he's automatically going to go to bed. <laughs> uh, they will continue to do the task that you you gave them, till either you give you cancel out the the task or whatever they're doing is empty. And when it's empty, free up the space, and you can put more stuff in that area. Uh, I'm going to try and clear up much space or oh no I know what I should do next we need to do research so we need it yeah build an experiment table all right research farming speak of the devil I say research and it pops up okay can we build no we need more wood what is it from he's hungry okay He's going to chop trees, it says in their little uh, 
a uh, little profile what they're doing or what they're going to do. Sleeping Quarry Stone. Uh, I do think. Okay, so you can do in this window is set priorities from left to right of greatest importance on left to what you want them to do at the when they have nothing better to do with their lives. Or you can just cancel it out when you don't want them to be, to be doing any of that shenanigans. Oh, he's good at occult research or rituals. Uh, not that important. Occult research, not that important either. Uh, training, I usually put at the end because that's not important. Uh, I end up using the same people to do all the little missions when they come up, which I will get to in a moment. Uh, farming uh, building and crafting are usually some of the more important things you want to focus on at first, or at least what I focus on at first. Uh, who's going to do, oh, Annabelle's going to do research, alright. Uh, we need eight more wood to build the next cabin, which we can go take care of. I think that's eight, three, six, eight. Yes, plus those two, ten. We have more than enough. And so for research and things, so go to the little table, and they will start researching. At first, they're going to do it pretty slowly, and you get run research at a time. Uh, what I have noticed is that later on, they get better at it, and they can pop out two research at a time. Or at least that's how it was in one of the previous updates. I haven't played in a while. One of the updates came out. I was interested. Uh, and then Alpha 11 was come out. Point 11 supposed to come out. Uh, for that update, they are finally going to do Alchemy. Which I was really curious about how they're going to do. I never talked about research. Okay, let's do that first. Uh, research is pretty basic. I don't want to do that. The person you can have more than one table they are from one at the table they do research they get you little research points and then you can do research uh same goals for occult research which is also in the research tab over here on the far right uh i always stayed away from it because i thought it was bad juju <coughs> and so some of the first things don't require that much research or whatever animal raising is 50 research at one board, 120 research, and so then there's a bunch of other things, woodworking, brick making, uh, and then these are for wood make uh, not wood making, weapon making. Some of the weapons later on are pretty interesting, and I haven't gone that far before. I never really did knives or swords, because uh, minerals is a pain in the ass to get if you don't have it. Uh, metals isn't that bad, but it's not something I usually came across. Uh, these med packs do come to save the behind when you are going out and exploring. Uh, and I was going back to her. oh, that's right. I was supposed to research farming. Yes, build two vegetable farms. Now. At first, uh, it seems pretty easy. Uh, at times, I have gotten overwhelmed where I am trying to do things, but things aren't happening because I have so many different things that need to be tended to all at once that... Excuse me, hold on a second. Uh, it That no one can get to it. So, like, the farm is being, waiting to be whatever... Or I'm waiting for research, but everyone has other things. Cutting wood, try gathering clay, stone, other stuff. Or they're out uh, exploring, which I'll also get to in a minute. And I I always had a hard time uh, saying priorities or getting, getting everything proper. Uh, I do want to start building some weapons. So this is the crafting table. Uh, as you increase your research, you unlock different things. Uh, some things can be made automatic, which have the little A symbol on it. Um, making some of these things pretty pretty straightforward. 
you, to make an arrow, to make a bow, you need two wood and five arrows. So it would be five arrows is two wood. So it'd be what four wood in total to make that the bow. And now I have two survivors, survivors who are sitting idle. So let us go and fix that situation. See we here. George went to go build that. Annabelle then went to do research. He was tending to the farm. Now he is idle. So we'll have him chop more wood. Wood is always, always used. Uh, one way or another, either when you are building something or when you are doing nothing. Uh, put that workbench there. To, to craft things, you do need a workbench. See? Oh, well, to build the basic things, you need a workbench. And as you also, when you increase your research and discover different things, uh, you will unlock different ways to build them. I know for... Uh, for occult research, when you get sacred crafting, you get holy magic. Holy magic first, and you get a holy forge, and those things can only be created at the holy forge, like the holy water, holy armor, and the protection spell, along with the blessed pistol and the sacred sword. So sooner or later, you end up with quite a few different amount of buildings that have whatever your preference is, because I only built one of each just to, uh, keep things simple because those higher ooh did not want that I wanted this those higher end things I did not want so alright uh, one more thing well it's gonna be a few more things after I go along and remember how to play the game uh, if you want to build something you can just left click on it and it does whatever it is so for the arrows you click it once and it does a multiple of five but if you want to keep up a certain amount of uh, items in your inventory at all times, like how the salad is on automatic, it will create a minimum of 30 or a max of 50 if you have the right resources. Oh, right, we need to build that second vegetable garden. Oh, we need wood and scraps. Now, for scraps, you can make it. Uh, I'm going to have it auto crafting. Let us start with. How much was it to build that farm? Uh, 15. So I'm just going to say minimum of 20. And so when you set the minimum and you don't set max, the max will automatically be that minimum you sent. I uh, set that zero bothered me. And so someone will automatically go create it. We can see that George is going to the table, hopefully to build that scrap because the arrow's already made. So we need it. Scrap, stone, and wood. We're good on the stone and wood. Now we have to wait for him to create the scraps, which take forever and a half to make, apparently. They don't make it in multiples, do they? And three. So every time that circle, this circle right above his little cogs go, the little gears, he will make three scrap per... Uh, pull per full uh, rotation. Uh, that's taking quite some time, so we can... No, he's doing wood. She's doing research, but what is her priorities? She's gonna do research above everything else. Oh, pretty much. Uh, George, 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 George. George is the... George is the crafter, so that means Glenn is our farmer for the time being. He says all he has been doing. Uh, take off this and this because we don't use it. I don't remember if there is... Oh, there's that. So in case we run low on water, we have a well conveniently right there. Uh, I do believe you can create one, yes, if you want one closer to you. But that would require scraps, wood, and bricks which we cannot create just yet so we can't do that uh, I thought there was little areas yes these little areas you can have someone go search and they will have uh, 99 scrap them in them and 9 medicine uh, however they're not just gonna go there and do the one circle and poof it's all gone you get all that scrap no they have to search through it and so they'll go through it find what they can at whatever pace the game gives it to them. 
Uh, I don't know if it's randomly generated or if it just goes 4 to 1 so far. Seems to be the ratio we are given, which is quite fine. Uh, we're in no hurry at the moment. Build that second farm. Generally, I this is how most of my setups end up looking with the two the building set up like this, going left to right, left to right, with the farms behind them. Uh, I'm trying to avoid these metal areas because in late game and the mineral resource, mineral reserve resource and mineral yeah, the metal is mined in a special quarry. You can't just dig it up how you do the stone and the quarry who's gonna build the farm can't fucking tell oh George is gonna go build that farm uh, they are built on special quarries which is where is it where is it brick making yes metal mine which usually takes me uh, quite a bit to actually research into no matter how much extra resource I have research I have on me Let's see, that task is going to be complete. Craft two clubs. Alright. Uh, generally, there's a, a little description and story, a little kind of thing to it. About why you're going to do what you're going to do. Uh, I am a terrible reader. I'm slow as shit. So, uh, if you want, you could have paused it on that moment. Or just know that that bottom part is what you need. The two clubs. So let's get on. I can't. God, fucking. Alright, so we need two clubs. Uh, I'm just going to build them. Because George is already here. Oh, he built them in hand. Alright. Scavenge a nearby. Just looking for computer base. Uh, Alright, yeah. Assistant needed. Now, these are one of the things that will pop up from time to time. Uh, it's not always going to be assistance needed. Sometimes it is enemies spotted nearby, or enemies attacking your base. So what happens is that this pops up. Yeah, you can click on it, I think. And you can also check the world map, and this is it. This little blue help sign. And you want to send rescue. I'm going to send all of my people, because I am not concerned of them. T oh, oh, that's new. Oh, so I can only send two. Alright, so I'll send four four little imps. Uh, I don't think they're that difficult to beat. I think this should be fine. <clears throat> now the little yellow arrow is your people going to that area. And as the... Oh, Alright, there are hostile creatures nearby. Eliminate them and rescue the person. So what happens is when you go to explore a new area or rescue someone or whatnot, you start off in a little part of the map, and then it's all blacked out. Fog of War is what it's called mostly by everyone, I think. Possibly. Whatever. And so you can control them one at a time or both. The little black circles are their, uh, the area in which they can hit something. So anything out of that area, they have to relocate and get to a closer uh, location to hit something. And if they are standing next to things, they can take defensive... Oh shit, we found all four at once. Okay, no, we, this should be fine. We got them, we got, we got them pretty quickly. Even if they're doing... Yeah, yeah, go attack, go attack, why'd you stop? Attack, attack, attack. Uh, Glenn's not gonna die, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. So, combat summary, four kills, four sulfur, uh used in uh, some of the demonic research, mainly. Uh, I don't think it's used for much of anything else. And we have Brandon. Brandon has joined the colony. So now we're gonna run back, run our happy asses back. And we're gonna pause right here because I'm kind of curious about this. So what happens is, oh shit. This is your little base, your little colony. And there are different areas that you can search that have different enemies in it and different loot in each thing now in one of the updates before it was all random all loot was random throughout the area but now 
Each structure has its own little loot thing. Now hospitals like that have a chance of dropping food and stuff you'd find in, well not exactly what you find in a hospital because I don't think you're going to find malt liquor in a <laughs> Jack Daniels at a, at a hospital. But it's just things you're, you would kind of expect in a general sense in a hospital or whatnot. It's so like in another hospital you're going to find wool and medicine. Military best base, uh, hide, which is used for creating armor. So if you look at it like that. And the cool thing is, is that these maps are always randomly generated each time you play. And they are pretty fucking big. And honestly, the further you go, the more uh, resources you're going to tend to find. But also the harder the enemies will be. So let's go back to our base. We have a food problem and a water problem. The water problem is easy because we can send someone to fetch water from that well. Is anyone going to go? No, they're all going to be bitches. Let's see what Brandon does. Brandon. Oh, shoot, poor Glenn. He got hurt pretty hard. Uh, Glenn is a farmer, which is good. Oh, but his crafting is better. Uh, rearrange everything around. Oh, oh, oh. Preferred task. We put him there, put those there. Uh, if they're going to, if they have that and they, if the survivors prefer that task, I would put them to that just because they gain the experience faster in that, <clears throat> in that area in which they prefer. So what happens is, is that as they do stuff, stuff, excuse me, they get experience, obviously. And then when they level up, they get different things. Each level, it's you can choose between the three. You have three options. Sometimes uh, they get pretty redundant or repetitive. I think it's like oh, increased uh, weapon damage with holy weapons. And then it's like one of the later ones is it says increased damage with uh, a sacred blade or melee weapon, uh, a holy weapon, which is the same one as the one down here. Uh, from what I understand, they are based off of their person, like engineer, en are they all engineers? Fighter, there we go, so being concerned is that we're all the same person. Uh, so that farm, what's our mission? Scavenge nearby, was that the scavenge, uh, the area or for what? Uh, I'm gonna auto craft, uh, is it 10? Yes. Okay, so it's only going to make 10. I thought it was 10 sets of 5, which have been quite a bit of arrows, but we don't need that many. Uh, for the bow and arrows, if you're wondering, once you build it, you do not need to create more arrows. Once you build it, you have built it, and you have unlimited ammo for it. Who is not getting this damn water? Perform task. Uh... Uh, so someone, someone's going to it now, I think. No, they are not. They're all being bitches. Oh, so now that we have the farm actually working, they have their own little system. Where they have the water in it and the maturity level. Uh, I have not tested to see what happens if either the water drops to zero and you do nothing. Because I've always had the little survivors go and automatically deal with their doings. So now Glenn is going to go fix this farm because the water is low. He's working on it as we can see here in the little area I have left open. Uh, I think he's watering it. I hope. Let's see him a little better. Oh, he stopped. Why'd he stop? Hey, plants are dying. Is anyone going to take... Oh, he had to go to sleep. Oh my fucking god. No, he's hungry. Not too sure what happens after a bit. Oh, he's going back now. Whatever. She is going back to the scrap. Uh, let us speed this up by two, because this is pretty repetitive. Yeah, so water back to 100. Maturity is increasing at 100 maturity, like this. Thankfully, you have timed that right. Uh, we will harvest some. That time, excuse me. That time we got 10 tomatoes, which are then used to create salads, which we have on auto make. 
Uh, everyone's doing their own thing. Let's create a bow and arrow. I don't think. Yes, Brandon's going to go over to the workbench to actually work on the bow. One bow. So who am I going to give this to? Select what? Uh. 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 What the hell? Why is there a gap? What the hell is that? Fuck. Uh, let's give it to. Oh, Annabelle was tired. Uh, I think making another bed would be sufficient. Uh, I'll give her the bow because she's probably going to come with me because she's a fighter. Can I build another bed? Is the oh shit? I can't. Oh shit. Yeah, someone's tired. Yeah, need more beds. Okay, 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 okay. Are there any areas nearby with wool? Ah, oh, there is. Okay. So, uh, I think this is going to be the last mission we do. Scavenge. I'm going to send the fighter. It, he's tired. I'm not going to send him. Add a weapon. Send. Oh, oh got to play the game. Uh, and so while they're going out doing their thing, the the colony stays doing what it does, whatever it needs to do. They're eventually going to get there, thankfully. Oh, but Glenn is so hurt. I fucked up. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep this simple. Glenn stays in the back. Slowly, slowly moving forward, moving forward slowly. We have one of the enemies. He is in range. She's gonna shoot the fuck out of him. Hey, she hit. So we're gonna try to keep things separate away from Glenn. He's gonna. Why did you guys stop attacking? All right, all right, all right. If, someone, if Glenn gets hit, I'm gonna move him. He's gonna run. Nope. Annabelle's getting hit. Oh, but he died. Okay, awesome. So we got the wall. We got the solver. Investigate. Build an occult library and research demon origins. Oh, I hate the demon origins. I hate the occult part. It's bad, Juju. But we gotta do it. Oh, someone's fucking tired again. Everyone's always fucking tired. What, did he not sleep long enough? Does he... Oh, he only has 75 of 100. Is he? What is his... Um... Fuck, how do, I, how do I check out... No, not customize. Damn it. Uh, priorities, no. Oh, there was a, I thought there was a way to look at the actual, at the what the character has, his his beginning stats. I fuck. Wait, how come I can't build that? Oh, boards. I need a sawmill. Can I not build a sawmill? Or the crafting? No, it's not crafting. Oh, I don't I don't have the research for it. Oh, that that would be problematic. Okay, okay. Um. Uh, What's, what's it under? Woodworking. Okay. So, let us build a sawmill. This you can usually just put out here. Fuck it. It's not that important. Hardly ever used. He's going to build this sometime in the near future. Let's speed things up. Get things going. Shit's not changing. I think over time their health will increase as they do shit slowly sometimes oh someone gets level up we get to see that in the first episode so let's go to skills first three open up construction mining and research now what do we have for George George is constructions and building crafting and building and he's not that much of a researcher so we're gonna ignore the research oh this is what I'm looking for okay here we are Yes, build speed, max nutrition. Okay, this this is what I'm looking for. Meat lover. Yes. See, for meat lover, he gets 15 extra nutrients, which is why he has 115 in the food bar, and his max energy is by uh, decreased by 25 percent. Holy shit! Just for a little loving meat. God damn. Uh, but he does have increased firearms accuracy. I don't get help. Firing, how fire, how being a meat lover, just shit. An enemy scout party has been spotted nearby. You should take care of it <coughs> before they spot your base. Okay, I'm gonna pause the game here because this is gonna be the last episode.
or the last part of the episode before I right, go do shit. Yes. This is where the little scouting party is. We'll take care of that later. But what happens is as your uh, as your colony grows, your awareness gets oh, we're in day three. Yeah. So as your colony gets bigger, uh, the enemy awareness of you increases. So right now we're at 31%. That's why we had that little pop-up thing. And so as you get bigger, this increases quicker and quicker. And shit gets harder. Sometimes you will get attacked directly. Uh, for the time, for the most part, what's going to happen is that we have to go to this little area, kill some enemies, and then the awareness is going to drop, which is fine for us. But sometimes they will find your ass, and they come attack you. Nothing difficult. Well, based off your the colony you have and the weapons you have, shouldn't be much of a problem. Normally, it's a little swarm of imps and a demon. Set this automatic. We'll set that to five. All right, and then close that. The game is still paused. I can do a little minor things real quick. Uh, I want to chop these trees. I'm going to. Oh, the scrap is all gone. She collected that scrap. All right. Oh, don't want to create task. I want to check the list. Tree, tree, tree. Uh, experiment, tree, water. Oh, finally, he's going to fetch water. Yeah, yeah. now you're searching for water. You're fucking low as shit. Let's finish this skill. Uh, let us do... Uh, da, 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 da. Construction, because I have... Ah, that's not what I want. Priorities. Uh, we'll boo. No, yeah, no, he's at that. So, we'll do construction. Now he has construction one. I'm assuming later on I will find. Con Did that one just disappear? Was there? Th I need to go back because I could have sworn there were three here each. Well, I guess I changed something. I guess you can only specialize in one of the three down here. Well, we'll find out again when George levels up. So that does it for this episode, guys. Uh, Till next episode, have a good day.